Hundreds of rape kits no longer exist in Maryland tonight. The concerns over when police can destroy them and whether the current law goes far enough. Hello, everyone. I'm Vic Carter. And I'm Rick Ritter. In the past two years, Maryland police agencies have destroyed almost 300 rape kits despite a stricter law that was supposed to preserve more of them. WJZ investigator Mike Helgren live in Hartford County tonight, which had the highest number. He spoke to the sheriff and asked for an explanation. Mike. Rick and Vic, the sheriff says he follows the letter of the law here, and there are some exceptions in that law. He says he only destroys kits in most cases when the defendant has fully gone through the court system and been uh, and served his full sentence. Maryland police agencies have destroyed more than 250 rape kits over the past two years. The Maryland Attorney General's office released this report detailing the numbers. Some advocates expressed surprise since a Maryland law that went into effect in 2017 put stricter regulations on when kits can be destroyed. And we're destroying the evidence of those crimes? It's absolutely outrageous. Leading the state is Harford County with 87 kits destroyed in the past two years. And that's not the fact. Sheriff Jeffrey Gaylor says his office has gone above and beyond what Maryland law requires and that only 17 of those kits were destroyed since the new law passed. And most of those, 13, were because the defendant had been convicted and served his full sentence. Those kits can be destroyed under Maryland law. The Maryland General Assembly wants us to keep kits, inde kits indefinitely, then, then pass a law that says they should never be disposed of. Sheriff Gaylor says his investigators also contact victims and ask if they want the sheriff's office to keep rape kits. And any suggestion they don't take sexual assault investigations seriously is insulting. It's actually a slap in the face, not just to me as sheriff, but more importantly to the men and women of this office who work these cases so diligently, so passionately. As for other jurisdictions, Maryland State Police have destroyed six rape kits in the past two years. Frederick Police, 84, Elkton, 11, and Baltimore County, 5. Government needs to act in the, the interests of rape survivors and preserve evidence. And Sheriff Gaylor says uh, some jurisdictions like Baltimore City didn't have any rape kits that were destroyed. He questions whether those numbers were accurate. Also under Maryland law, if a suspect dies, that rape kit can be destroyed. Reporting live in Harford County, Mike Helgren, WJZ.